Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, yeah, with everything going on in the world, I haven't done a lot of videos recently. Um, doing a little bit different tonight here. I uh, wasn't going to do this, but I decided to go ahead and do it. AEW Fighter Fest Part Uno. Uh, reviewing it, uh, we have five matches. As we all know, head to head with NXT Great American Bash. Um, yeah, I'm in a fighter fest. I've been announced for, for a few weeks now. They've been building this up. Uh, we did learn that uh, Mox will not be here next week to defend the title against Brian Cage. That has been postponed for two weeks until um, Facts of the Fallen. Okay. Um, obviously, we all know that um, Renee Young was diagnosed with COVID 19. Obviously, the wife of John Moxley. Um, so, that's definitely, you no. Know, more important than freaking title match. Um, we're going to run these five matches from Dynamite, from Fighter Fest. Um, first off, we have a tag match. We have MJF came in with Warlow versus Jurassic Express. Um, I love how it, MJF came out with the microphone talking to start um, going on about how this is a war and you got to have you know, the best guy there and have him start the show. I thought that was kind of cool. I'm um, a big M MJF fan. I have been for a while. Uh, I know a lot of people don't see... MGF the way I see him, I guess. In the ring, he's eh, average. Um, Mike skills, he's great. I think in a few years, he'll be freaking... Everybody will think they may do about him. So, good little match. Good little tag match there. Jurassic Express with um, Plutosaurus and uh, Jungle Boy. I um, actually see Jungle Boy is so uber talented that I think... And so is Luchasaurus. Eventually, I see them kind of breaking apart and doing their own thing. I would love to see, like, an MJF Jungle Boy match for the TNT title. I think that'd be a good, good match. Um, but Jurassic Express getting the victory here on a couple big spots. We want to see a Luchasaurus do these top row blanches, whatever they're called. Um, it's just like, whoa, this dude's freaking talented as hell. Um... Lost my mind there for a second. Um, yeah, I ended up giving the match three and a quarter. So it was pretty good. Jurassic Express getting the victory. Um, next up, we had the AEW Women's Title Line. We had uh, Hiroka Shida um, defending her title versus Penelope Ford. I will say Penelope Ford did show me a lot of this match. Um, this is probably her best match in AEW. Not one of the more talented when you think of the AEW Women's Division. Uh, but Shida, I mean, one of the great champions that they have. I'm glad that, uh, I mean, she's a lot more talented than Nyla Rose. Now that Nyla's, it's just some talent, but she is probably one of the top one or two besides Britt Baker, maybe Chris Statlander, talented women. Um, they went up a great match on. Um, Penelope Ford was able to kind of bring herself up. Um, not quite to Sheeta's level, but almost there. Um, she didn't end up retaining her title. Um, I'll give it three stars. Now, what I want to see is I want to see Tessa. Tessa Blanchard needs to come to AW. I know with her getting released, released, fired, whatever from Impact. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. She needs to come to AW. Um, stay away from NXT. But, anyway, she did retain the women's title. Um, I give it three-star. Good good match. Um, next up, we had the AEW TNT title on the line. We had champion Cody defending the title versus Jake Hager. <sighs> this match didn't do it really a lot for me. Um, Jake Hager he has two losses now in AEW. He lost to Mox for the title, and he lost to Cody for the TNT title here. I don't think Cody needs this title, to be honest with you. But he has it. Um, he ended up winning here. Um, I mean, I gave it two and three quarters. It was a match. Dustin Rhodes came down and got involved. Um, I mean, it's just, guys, come on. But anyway, I guess it puts prestige on it because Cody has it since Cody did off the bat. I mean, he said he he lost. He wasn't going to wrestle for the world title back when Jericho was champion. So, but I guess it is what it is. 
Anyway, so Cody gets the victory there over Jake Hager. Next up, we had a tag team match. We had Santana and Ortiz versus Private Party. This is a good little match. Um, I mean, we the best of the tag team division here in AW. We had Private Party versus Santana and Ortiz. Um, Private Party being mentored by Matt Hardy. This is kind of, kind of yeah, that's cool, I guess. Um, Private Party is a young, up Italian. Up and up and coming talented team. Um, sloppy in places in this match, but they were able to recover. Uh, it wasn't too too bad. And I ended up giving it three and a quarter. Um, the end was a little a little wonky, um, but uh, I ended up giving it three and a quarter. Pirate Party getting the victory over Santana and Ortiz. Um, now because they got the victory here. They get to face the winner of the AEW Tag Titles next week on night two of Fighter Fest for the AEW Tag Titles. Um, which that was the main event. AEW Tag Titles on the line. We had Champions Best Friends, whose Trent's mommy brought him in the minivan, dropped him off for work. That was dumb. Um, they faced Adam Page and Kenny Omega, the AEW Tag Team Champions. Um, during this match, FTR came out with a cooler and with lawn chairs, set the announce table. Um, for most of the show, we had Chris Jericho on on commentary, which was pretty cool. Um, what was it right after the Cody match? Um, Jericho was out there, and the Orange Cassidy was out. And then, of course, yeah, they had a little thing back and forth with Jericho toward Cassidy, and Cassidy was like, He's just like, whatever. I just love the horse casting gimmick. And then, uh, so we had the tag, the tag title match. It was a good little match. Um, I thought Best Friends almost had it. Um, but Paige and Omega was end up winning the, uh, retaining their tag titles there. Um, I had to give it three and a quarter. Now, there was a little, uh, little after match scurry here going on with between Paige and Omega. Um, FTR, Young Bucks, kind of pushing and shoving. FTR came down with beers for Paige and Omega, handed to them, cheers. They obviously, FTR took offense too when Kenny went poured it out, because Kenny don't drink, so that caused a little problem. Next week we have an eight-man tag with FTR and Young Bucks versus the Blade, the Butcher, and Lucha Bros. Overall, not a bad show. Um, I ended up giving it three and a quarter. Overall, rating for the show. Um, the Main event was three and a quarter. Um, so, I mean, good show. Um, now, I did think it was better than NXT Great American Bash. But, again, my opinion. So, that's going to wrap up AEW Fighter Fest Part Uno. Um, part Dos will be next week. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports. You have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports.